Hello, my name is Felicita Carino, uh, date of birth 12-31-1961, the last four of my socials, 3765. Uh, it is May 25th, Saturday, Independence Day weekend, or well, whatever, I'm really bad with that. <laughs> I, I'm alone. I have nobody to be with, uh, and that's okay, I have God. Um, <clears throat> so this is part two of my video, I forgot to go into what I'm going through um, every moment I, I try to get for two months, I've been asking my doctor, uh, for, um, but my communication wasn't clear enough to him. Uh, so I, I take responsibility as well, uh, for a, I want an MRI of the, of the brain. My, my, my mom, uh, had Alzheimer's and, uh, to boot with all the ailments that I have, I am very forgetful and that's been happening to me. It is gradual and I really need a diagnosis on it uh, because I don't want to be at the point of no return, although I'm not into medication. So I will do my own holistic things uh, thing if, if I do have something. Um, you know, you do become forgetful when you reach, reach a certain age. So, uh, but this is really going overboard. Um, there's something, um, a couple of things... It's been so far like three ma four major things that I've lost in the house that I'm looking for that I don't know where I put it. Um, so it's not just a, you know, like memory lapse that what, did I, what was I saying? What was I doing? I go to the room to do something. I forget what it's for. It's not just even that anymore. It's gotten a little worse. Um, so I cannot submit any paperwork on this yet because seeing a neurologist is uh from from I learned finally that the reason why my doctor wasn't sending me for an MRI is he needed to get me a referral which finally he did to see a neurologist and uh they're all booked like for the whole year. <laughs> oh my goodness. I finally got them to move it up to the 30th of July, but in the meantime I asked him to give him another referral and for neurologists there's only one doctor they could give you a referral to. So if they're booked, they're booked. So I'm trying to get on waiting lists, uh, uh, finagling, uh, see, you know, I could only see one doctor at a time, but I'm kind of finagling something here to see if I could have another doctor, uh, watch out for the waiting list of another doctor. And then I'll jump from one to the other and get a referral for the other doctor. It is what it is. Um, and it's hard to reach my doctor because he's not in, I'm not going to hear, get a response soon enough with a referral and then the available uh, appointment at Geisinger that I'm trying Geisinger as well besides the High Valley um, may not be available when when I get the referral so I got to bounce back to the other doctor's referral anyway it is what it is but I am really trying my best to get an appointment to see a neurologist so they could do some testing on me um, it, it's really scary to say this about Alzheimer's but it is what it is and I do believe uh, that it could be slowed down. Um, I definitely got to do more reminders, more note taking. Uh, but I do believe that I want to nip it. I want to have faith in it, but something is going on and is very serious. Um, again, Dr. Vera, uh, said, uh, I didn't really feel flattered that she said that I'm paranoid. And then in another report, she put that, uh, concern for risk of broken spirits, like, no, I'm not going to let that happen to me, but people could see it. Um, this is a good moment for me right now, <laughs> but I am suffering from hypertension, uh, way more. You saw that on the, my other video. I won't go into it. I just wanted to add to, to add to this that I am, um, working on, uh, trying to accelerate an appointment. I already moved it up from November to july but there's no way i'm going to be able to get it out uh within the 60 days of my appeal so i ask you to please kindly accept this explanation and as soon as i get anything on the record i do have your fax number um what i don't have is the claim number uh because they said i'm supposed to have a claim number so i have to call the social security number the social security office again because the claim number is supposed to have my social security number in it and uh, all I have is my application claim number, like while I was applying. 
And um, although I'm going to do it online, it doesn't require a claim number. They'll recognize me. But I do want to attach a letter. I want to attach a link to this video and the other video. So it's going to be a link to a folder that has two videos. So you could hear me and see me and feel me. And believe me, I don't want to break. Um, in, I don't want to get emotional. All right. Uh, um, but, <laughs> you know, um, uh, I'm facing challenges and I'm alone. But I'm keeping my chin up, right? Um, I can't do exercises anymore because of what I said on the other video. Um, there's a lot of things, a long list of things I can't do if I want to have a decent day here on my rocker forward slash recliner where I'm living it. <laughs> it's crazy. Most of the time I have it pushed back all the way. Except for now that I'm doing the recording and every so often I could sit up on the recliner, but it's not all the way up, by the way, it's still reclined. Uh, sitting up on a chair drains me. I don't know why. Um, um, I, 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 I'm controlling the pain by not doing certain things, which I would have to do if I'm working. Uh, I have to be in a very relaxed position all the time. And when I sleep again, it's sleeping facing up. So I won't wake up in pain. But doing movements on a chair while I'm working will trigger it back. So, um, yes, my birthday is 1962. And I may look young because I'm into holistic stuff. And I'm going to fight the battle against this 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 disease. And uh, I'm going to be just fine. But I do need support. I need to make a claim on what I worked for. And I understand that there are a lot of people crossing the border that uh, are, you know, I mean, they're being taken care of. Um, and so, you know, but, you know, America first, you know what I mean? American citizens first. I need to be taken care of. Already they slashed from my, something I don't even have, my my disability, my, not, not my disability, my, my social security right for retirement. It was already, I already lost $500 and I haven't even tapped into it. And I fear actually, quite frankly, that the longer I wait, it's going to be slashed again. So when I do this, I'm going to have to uh, throw in the the retirement. Um, but I can't live off of that retirement. Like what, $1,500? It was eighteen. It was $1,800. Now I think it's either thirteen dollars or $1,500 a month, which I cannot live off of. So, um, my plan is to get my disability and get, um, uh, my retirement and it's because I need it. I really like to work. I love people. Um, I wasn't getting paid very well at you. Well, the bank, you know what I mean? You know, I'm not going to say which one, right? Uh, I really wasn't kind of abusive. I was getting paid what I got paid back in 1980, in 1987, 88, 9, 89, 90. I mean, really cheap kind of stuff. I never really wanted to work for a bank for that reason, but it still is very cheap. And I think it's abusive when they have people working from home. They pay them even less instead of paying them more because they're not paying for electric bills or, or real estate or anything, right? No, no, you know, so it is what it is. But I'll be honest with you. I did enjoy the job, talking to people every day, putting a smile on their face, them putting a smile on my face when they would say thank you, that they appreciate me. I miss that. And it gets lonely, not working. Trust me. Um, nobody wants to just sit at home on a recliner all day long watching TV or reading. I mean, who the hell wants to be in a recliner? I recline all the way back like this, right? Looking at the ceiling. Um, I watch TV that way to lay the pressure off my back. It's been three months since I've been uh, temporarily disabled. But I know what not to do. I know what not to do because if I don't, if I sit up like this all day long, this is not all the way up, by the way, this is still reclined. Um, uh, there will be a price to pay again. If I toss in my sleep or I, I definitely cannot sleep on my, uh, on my side, it's a good thing I'm not married because I cannot cuddle. I mean, they'll divorce me. I cannot cuddle. I cannot turn to the side. I could just lay in bed flat like a, like a hamburger. <laughs> not trying to be graphic here, but you know what I'm saying, right? No life here, but in Jesus' name, there is plenty of life still left and hope. And so I am trusting God, and I'm trusting that you would uh, be human and relate to me.
Okay, just because I look young doesn't mean anything. I'm going through a lot. All right? Um, I'm going through a lot. Don't don't try to tell me that I, I don't deserve your support. I deserve the support when I need it. I've worked hard on my life. And I didn't make a lot of money, but enough to at least uh, be able to tap into this during an emergency type moment. And everything is coming down on me. Um, so, uh, please, take a moment to be human. And I don't know why you, why, why you rejected me the first time, but I certainly hope I get a good group this time that God would touch your heart. And allow you to feel me, my pain, my distress. And I'm being strong during this uh, recording because I got a little pride too, you know. I don't like getting mushy in front of people. I don't I, I don't even like getting mushy by myself. I just get, I, I, if I could get on my knees, I'll get on my knees. I'll, or, or I'll just pray here in my my best friend recliner. I can't call it stupid because this, this thing is working wonders and I need a backup second recliner because uh, this one breaks. I'll be in bed all day. I cannot be sitting up. This is really serious, all right? Uh, um, I could go shopping again only because I obey my do not do list. I have a list of things I cannot do. I better not do. Thank you so much for listening. This is Felicita Carino again. Uh, this recording is less than uh, 12 minutes. I hope you don't mind playing this second recording. Um, I figured this is the best way that I could communicate with you. Please be compassionate, okay? I'm here alone. And I got to take care of myself all by my lonesome. All by my lonesome, okay? Next time you see me, you don't want to see a whole bunch of wrinkles on my face because um, stress does that to you. And medication does that to you. And, and and it'll do it to me if I allow the stress to take over. I've lived a stress-free life, which is why I never made a lot of money. Um, because to me, having peace of mind was always important. And so that <laughs> kept me youthful, I guess. But please, be compassionate. Don't hate me. I need somebody to love me. And I need somebody who is in, authority, in a place of authority. Uh, someone who came, could make a decision to help me i'm not a beggar i don't like even like people to, to i don't like to help ask for help although i've had a lot of borrowed money and my credit was almost ruined and now i'm on a payment plan okay um and, and a, a personal friend has been lending me money since the accident but even before that i i had issues um here and there but nothing like now since the accident so please be compassionate okay don't hate me. Don't hate me because I need you now. Bye now.